Quabble Cop, for example, he also zooms with his face cam, you know, just like that, and it's pretty simple. So, in order to make your face cam, let's, let, for example, like really big, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new video track, and we're gonna go ahead and drag it on there. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make your face cam move. So let's say that you're, a game, that you're playing a game and you have your face cam in the corner and you want to, you know, anytime you say something loud or something funny, you want to go ahead and spice up your video with moving your face cam around. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that in this video, so make sure to smash the like button down below and I would say let's get started. So as you can see right now we are in Vegas Pro, I just, you know, used a red single uh, solid color to pretend that this is just our gameplay okay I don't have any gameplay footage because I don't make gaming videos instead of that I'm just gonna use a red solid color so now if we go ahead and you know start animating this what we're gonna do is we, you want to make sure that you will um, record your gameplay with your computer obviously and then your face cam separate okay we're not gonna go ahead and record with OBS and put our face cam into OBS that is going to be one file otherwise you won't be able Able to move the face cam around so it has to be a separate recorded file that you can drag in so as you can see right now we've done that I just dragged in a random video and we're gonna pretend that this is going to be the face cam and in order to actually make this move we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make two video tracks one for the gaming footage and one for the for the face cam so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click on the track motion icon of the face cam track and first of all what we're gonna do is this box is popping up and we're gonna make sure that we'll shrink this face cam uh, just a little bit smaller. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it like that. I'm gonna place it nice in the corner I would say like this so we don't see any red borders Okay, so now that we have a face cam in the corner What we're gonna do for example if you want to make it just a little bit bigger We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a new video track like this Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag up the the face cam footage onto the new video track and we're gonna make this guy a little bit bigger and then if you're gonna place this guy into the corner if you go ahead and switch back and forth between those tracks as you can see right now the face cam border actually goes a little bit bigger so let's say that you want to go ahead and do it like this what you want to do is you want to press S on your keyboard drag this guy on top of the video track then we're gonna play it back and we're gonna pretend that in this little um, clip you say something funny or something loud you want to just go ahead and cut it again and place this guy again on the timeline below it so if I go ahead and play this back this is what it looks like as you can see the face cam becomes a little bit bigger and that's how most gamers are doing this you know Quabble Cop, for example he also zooms with his face cam you know just like that and it's pretty simple so in order to make your face cam let's let, for example like really big what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new video track and we're gonna go ahead and drag it on there and then we're gonna go ahead and do it like this we're gonna cut it just a little bit so if I go ahead and play it back this is what it looks like it's just going to be a little bit bigger and then it's going to go full screen and then as you can see it's going back to the corner so this is basically the basic you know method to make it move but for example if you want to make it rotate for example what you can do is you can create a new video track obviously then we're gonna go ahead and place this guy right here we're gonna also cut it a little bit so I'm gonna place this guy down again so if you go ahead and do it like this What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make the zoom out just a little bit and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna place this guy again to the bottom one and we're gonna make this guy rotate for example so go ahead and click on the uh, event pan crop icon so if you go ahead and do it like this I'm gonna go ahead and place a keyframe at the end and then I'm gonna rotate this guy 360 full degrees so now that we have done that, we're going to go ahead and make sure that it is nice and even again. And we're going to also zoom in just a little bit. Now if I go ahead and play it back, this is what it looks like. As you can see, the face cam is normal size, then it's going to go bigger, then it's going full screen. Then it's going back again to the normal size, and then it's going to be in the middle of the screen, and it's going to turn around. And as you can see, that's how amazing it looks. And this is basically how to animate your face cam, guys. That is how to do it. Just create a new single video track for every effect. And obviously, if you have five effects or five different animations, you will have five different video tracks. So you don't have to do this all again in one in the event bank crop So you can just go ahead and cut your parts into pieces place them on different, you know 
video tracks and that's how to do it so this is how to animate your face cam guys if this video was helpful to you make sure to smash the like button down below and i'll catch you guys obviously in a brand new video tomorrow on the channel so i'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video